things to discuss. The only reason I don't do this play is because golf balls are not looking at golf. That's what the balls were made of. They were covered in the sea. Call me more than the blues. Start with approval of minutes from last month. Everyone have a chance to review those. Comments, changes, corrections, additions, deletions. Any motion has been received. Uh, I might say motion. Any discussion? That's fine. All in favor? Uh, liaison comments? Commissioner Tate? Commissioner Tate? Two of us on here in the introduction. Thank you all. Uh, let me just say I'm probably related <laughs> a little bit early today. Uh, my son has basketball trials at 5 30, and if I'm not there to take them, I hate to see Santa relieve his duties coming in Christmas time. <laughs> I'm going to be there. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I've been working with this planning board now for five years. I've seen a lot of good topics, a lot of outstanding discussions, uh, from steep slope to noise to a lot of things in between. And uh, I've enjoyed getting to know all of you as well as a lot of the, the past members. Uh, but when Commissioner Shields. Uh, was elected to office, uh, I saw it as a, uh, a good opportunity uh, for me to uh, maybe pass my gavel along to him uh, to learn a little bit about the county. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me. Uh, as a commissioner, your duties are very, very hectic at times, and I, I feel like there's a lot of things in the county that I still I'm not too familiar with, and when you stay with the same things year after year after year, uh, doesn't give me the chance to have the time to learn about some other things. So uh, I saw this as a good opportunity. <coughs> Unfortunately, Gary agreed to uh, take this liaison on and allowed me to pick up some different liaison boards that I can now become familiar with and learn. So don't think I'm going to be a stranger. I will still be keeping my my ear to the grindstone uh, with y'all in the morning. Gary, I haven't talked to you prior to this meeting about this board, but I'll give you my two cents, and if you're free and able to handle it as you see fit. But my, my personal feelings on this board is that I try to sit back and be the fly on the wall. Uh, I won't, uh, I've always liked this board to have open and fruitful discussions uh, without me putting my two cents in or trying to sway this board to look at one subject in a different light than another. I just kind of want to sit back and judge it all, soak it all in, and try and relay what this board comes to agreement with to our board and unbiased uh, decision. And again, it'll be up to you. You'll come to find this board. Uh, at times, we'll take on some very controversial subjects. And you'll be under the heat of the media, and we'll be under the heat of this board. I know you have the the calming demeanor to be able to handle that. Even so I appreciate that. But this board does take up some very, uh, again, important concepts that this county needs uh, to discuss. Uh, board uh, on this noise control board is based upon our last comment that says, Commission, it seemed to be the consensus of our board that uh, we're not looking at a cure all for all noises, but there's obviously some noises going on in this county which are, uh, I guess, could be considered malicious in nature and harming a reasonable person's peace and quiet. I think that's what we're looking at y'all to try and consider and how to define and how the county as a whole might look into kind of controlling that. Uh, I personally think, my opinion only, is that when y'all do come up with something, uh, it'll hardly ever be used uh, by the Sheriff's Department or by this county. I'm, I'm thinking now that once you give the Sheriff some type of teeth 
uh, and once he approaches people in general and lets them know that they can be fine if there now is a noise ordinance, that it will control a lot of this. That's my hope for you. Get your discussion. Gary? I'll follow the same trail that you follow. Uh, if you seek my opinion on something, I'll give it to you. You just got to remember it's an opinion. I'm just one person. And, uh, I've kept up with this plan for a number of years. It's helping to keep having to deal with it. Discussing the customers you had to endure. So I'll <coughs> deal with you from the media side. Uh, actually, I appreciate all of you are part of this. Run around the room with these three, four students. Four students. That's good. That's why I call them to come home. I'll tell them what happened. Glad you're going to make it for money. Time's up. Yeah, you're going to be a month. Yeah, we should start making a lot of money. Anyway, I'm here's a fear. Any questions for us? Anybody? Jim, thanks for a great thing. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll still send you show up. This fear of Mr. Shields, we'll <coughs> make like it entertaining, we promise. <laughs> so, uh, Let's go around the table real quick and just all introduce ourselves to Commissioner Shields. I think for the most part he knows everybody, but I think there's one or two people coming in that he doesn't. So I'm going to start Joe. Oh, man. You know, maybe I should. I'm Brother Joe. I'm Bill Gable. I'm Bill Gable. Bill Gable. Bill Gable. Bill Gable. Yes, from that. Yes. Ms. Cheryl, Mr. Boyd, Mr. Lassner, so I was at your out of Cowley lab that we all out there the other day. The one that you are at. Correct. Justin and Old King. And Morris is why. No, mate. You scored 100. That's all right. Public comments. We have two people signed up. We ask that you keep it. The discussions or the comments on the noise ordinance that we're discussing keep it four minutes if possible please and uh mr wright yes you're up oh god okay <laughs> um, i don't know anybody at the table and i didn't go to franklin high school so mr <laughs> shields <laughs> should have the detention class we met before though yes we have <laughs> okay. uh, my name is James Wright, and I live at uh, 384 Hatfield Road uh, here in Macon County. And, um, and I apologize for not, I haven't been in town much to be able to participate at the commission meetings. Uh, they just, the dates didn't work for me. So I called up uh, Matt and asked if I could start my role at the board meeting today, and he said, come on down. So, uh, my <coughs> complaints are directed to, towards uh, trying to put up a per perfect or well-perfected noise ordinance in Macon County. <coughs> um, I have been a victim, I'll just give you the basic of this, and I'll watch my time. Uh, I have been a victim of this since July of 20, uh, 2012. Uh, by the move-in of some neighbors on a piece of property next door to me. Uh, I won't go into it, but there was a whole bunch of nuisances in there which included trespass. Sheriff Holland, uh, I spoke to Sheriff Holland many times on these issues and he prompted me to come to the board meeting. Uh, I also talked with uh, Commissioner Beal and he encouraged me to come to the board meeting. Uh, each instance that I've had over the past two and a half years, like
like I say, nuisances such as trespassing and, and things like that. Um, every time that I filed a police report, the deputy would come 15, 20 minutes later because I looked so far out, or they're not close. Uh, and the deputies will investigate it. And once they depart, the uh, perpetrators come up to the property line and start firing shotguns on my property line. I've got bullet holes in my house. Um, and I can't go in and get it because they're, they're in, in the rafters inside and I don't want them to tear the house up. Uh, also, the, the woman at the house, uh, she is like a, uh, I, I'm not no insult to the Indian population, but she screams worse than an Indian. One o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, runs up to the property line does the same thing, brings her car up, opens up the hatchback. She's got two big speakers in the back and blasts country music that I don't like. It's country rock. And uh, one of her favorite songs is, I shot the sheriff, <laughs> but I didn't shoot the deputy. Um, so uh, I'm in favor of uh, all this harassment being Part of it being able to come under a noise ordinance for all the years. <coughs> Civil rights have been denied uh, for two reasons. Number one, when I go to walk down my property line, they've torn up my fences. So that's another issue that's not pertaining to no nuisance, but noise. Uh, and then this woman runs around naked on her property and hollers, rape, rape, rape. And I have documentation of that. She signed under oath, perjured herself. Um, and um, over the past couple of years, the sheriff has been really gracious. We've held this matter uh, into uh, court for a couple of years. December of last year, Mr. Godin, I guess I shouldn't mention any names, fired a shotgun up through the woods at my house, at my wife and myself and two deputies. That earned him in almost a year in jail, which I was very proud of. Um, but then again, he got away with only misdemeanors. So um, that's my story. Uh, I'm for a good, effective noise ordinance to help stop these speakers and these midnight shootings. And I will swear out any affidavits that it takes to pursue the ordinance or law should it be effective. Thank you, Mr. Wright. All right. And believe me, I've been shot at maybe 13, 14 times. Uh, close. So. Ms. Majerus? Hi, guys. you have anything new for us this week? Well, I want to talk to Mr. Shields. He's new. He can hear it from the uh, horse's mouth. You knew that was coming in, sir. Well, Mr. Shields, congratulations. And this man who's leaving, good luck to you. I very much have a story very similar to his. Thank God there hasn't been any gunshots yet. But this man is a habitual, habitual noise person. All hours of night, between the engines revving, the music rocking, and the fires that he puts on outside, I just am denied my rights. That's a new one, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. of being able to sleep. My daughter is a nurse. She has to get up very early in the morning. This man's out rocking his engines, blowing, wagging, whatever you call that thing. All hours of the night this goes on. I've had the police there many times, and I apologize every time they come, because I know they have far more important things. But the problem with this particular man, the habitual person, is he says, I didn't go to jail for 13 years so anybody can tell me what to do, where to do, or how to do it. There's no orga noise ordinance, so therefore, you can't do a darn thing. And he waves goodbye to the cops, because all they can do is put their hands back in their pocket and leave. So I beg you guys, we had it again this morning. With the range and engines and stuff. It was awful, and um, it's not fair. I'm on a lot of medication, as I'm sure you can tell. My husband's not a spring chicken, and my daughter's a nurse who has to go and take care probably some of your relatives. So it's just not fair to us. So please, don't wait forever. 
But he is on now on supervised probation. So if you get this thing passed, the next time the cops come, boom, he goes to jail. Please and have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Jarris. All right, new business. So the, obviously we've been tasked with moving forward with producing a noise ordinance. <coughs> I believe Commissioner Tate, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, what they would like to see as the Board of Commissioners is something that we can come up with that is going to solve the problems that were presented with us today and not necessarily solve uh, miscellaneous noises that we hear on a day to day basis. And so I'll go without putting words in anybody's mouth if that makes sense. I was, two ways that see we can move forward. We can start from scratch and try to write our own our code ordinance and you know, try to set a standard for Western North Carolina. The other option is to take an existing ordinance, which Matt handed out in Clay County because that's one that Mr. Jones actually wrote, so it's familiar with the text and the meaning and the legality of it. And take an ordinance like this and mold it to fit well, us here in Macon County. Have any thoughts from anybody about if they want to start from scratch or start with a template or go down that road? I think it would be a good idea to use this one that you drafted for Clay County as a template. We get to our own, uh, our own county with our needs and our the, the desires of this board, especially since Chester is one who drafted this one and it's uh, kind of don't put the render already. Any other thoughts? I agree with that. I, I agree with that. I'd like to take this home, read it, make any notations that we need for next, next month's meeting or our next meeting. Okay. And then see if we can't just put it together from this to say these people can go to the award harassment that they've gone through. It can always it can always be changed or added to. Okay. So instead of rocking it for so long, we need to go ahead and get something on there and work from there. A couple things I want to encourage you to do as you read it or have read it. One is pay attention to the definition of loud, ruckus, and disturbing noise. Uh, that definition says any sound which because of its volume, level, duration, or character of noise is disturbed, injures or endangers the comfort, health, peace, and safety of reasonable persons or ordinary sensibilities. So it's saying any sound. So think about that in your minds. The other thing I want you to look at is the exemptions in section four. Pay close attention, attention to that because there, the one that struck me, just to be honest with you, was D. It says the noise resulting from law enforcement, law enforcement officer undergoing qualifications for firearms training. So basically, it's exempting them on Sunday, all the time except Sundays or after 11 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So I said, well, I guess that obviously includes gunshots, you know, with your neighbors and stuff like that, or, or that's going to be an issue you have to look at. So pay attention to those two things and read it. But you're saying to shoot shooting the gun wouldn't fall under that exemption unless you're a trained for a law enforcement officer. Right. I wonder why they had a 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. on the firearm and 10 p.m. on the motor vehicle and that kind of thing. I think that would be something if we went down that road we might consistent. This definition add the word malicious, loud, disturbing noises. I think before we make too many changes to this, I think it'd be nice if the commissioners could bless Mr. Jones being in our meetings while we go through this conversation so that he can answer the legal questions and so we don't do a back and forth and drag this process out twice as long as it needs to be dragged out. So that we can give these people some relief as soon as possible. Mr. Jones, attend a few of our meetings. You didn't have legal counsel. You don't. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, if I may ask a question from the audience. I, I didn't, uh, did you indicate that there were time frames set? It not, we have not set any time oh, okay. frames. In this okay. ordinance that, that was written for Clay County that I don't think was ever adopted, Okay. there were time frames in it. Oh, okay. I, okay, my only comment would be on time frames would be from sunset to sunrise. And you'll get a chance um, you can come to additional meetings and listen to what goes on and put in your two cents and then ultimately this will go to board commissioners and you can I'll join the board <laughs> I won't vote run for office though. <laughs> so again the uh, I mean, do we have any discussion besides take this home and review it and start marking it up? Does anybody have anything they want to talk about related to it? Or, I mean, at this point, I think if we're at a consensus that that's what we want to do, we need some homework. Maybe just a general question that I would have uh, <coughs> under section uh, 3.6, page 2, it references keeping any dog or bird as the boat. I don't, I don't think from the direction that we've been given the dogs or oh, animals in general will be an issue that we should address. Okay, yeah. Because also that could get... It could okay. explode. Right. Yeah. Uh, this will be mechanical speaker of music. Maybe gunshots. Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk about what you should have shot that on here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Carl, as far as you're talking, I don't think animal will be included. And there's a couple other things like that. Um, yeah, there's one on car motors, and which this is repairing, rebuilding, or testing of any motor vehicle. That's something we need to look at. Let's see if that's some direction we need to look at. Um, also, number seven. And number seven. Uh, I mean, because that talks about time there, and if that takes any time. That's basically any time they're using it in school for a, for right. education, basketball. I mean, that could, that's something we look at. It might not be something we look at. Right, because, I mean, what's the school out? There, there's a mechanic shop right across the street from the school. I mean, you can't put that on them. They were there before the school. Right. They also have a bad neighbor out there. It was fully top. South Macon. South Macon. But in there, a mechanic shop or a tax shop? Right there. I mean, so all of a sudden you put that into. Well, those people, you know, they're probably also going to be working on the cars. The daytime kind of thing. They're right, but the, if you read well, that, know, as long as the school's in yeah. operation, they can't make noise. Well, I, I think that that's, they're not making the kind of noise that. We're, if we're worried, right, that's what I'm saying, but you can't but you don't want have that in there, that language in there. You we might have to if we incorporate that we might have to focus the definition of noise. Because there is actually an issue with some schools and some noise involved now. We can talk about that. One other comment I had in regards to uh exemptions. Uh, there was a degree I was going. Yeah. Another exemption that was proposed to me was Curtis uh, Dow at Southwestern Community College. Um, they would fall under institutional and emergency training simulators for police. They make a lot of noise one week a month or a year or whatever. He asked us to consider some sort of exemption for that, which may be the same thing for the fire tower, you know, that sort of stuff. It is, except one or two weekends out of the year. And are we, you know, something else I think we need to consider is, are we going to make an availability, maybe we don't exempt it, but we put in there that you could apply for a permit. Whoever, you know, if it's you, Matt, that issues the permit, whoever it may be, you know, is not, I'm not putting you on the spot, but whoever issues it, Obviously, if it's for something that's training, it's educational, yes, you issue it. If it's for a, because uh, I want to rock, have a big band 
all night long in the middle of a field, maybe you don't approve that till 3 a.m. You get a special use permit to essentially violate this and not get. A couple of calls that I have had is one's fundraising events at Cowley School. They've done, I think it's a name, musical group. You know, how do you address that? Um, another one is actually out in Pat Valley, the Blossom Barn, that does a lot of wedding plays in the night. Or, you know, if they're a cut off town, it's very simple that I have to talk about. Well, that gets back to two, is pretty really malicious about it. Yeah. Yeah. And that falls in your conversation. Yeah. It's one thing about the Northern Pier of the Bay. What do you mean when you play it? But at 10 o'clock at night, it's one thing versus 3 in the morning. Too. Right. You need to have a list of those stuff. That, that's what I was saying. We need to put our opinions and tweak and whatever the, the uh, this ordinance is before we waste the gesture's time coming and going over it. We can have it narrowed down to our opinions maybe one time. Because there's a lot of things in this one right here that I've already marked that I would take out. Well, I think the thing's going to be to go, let's go through, next month we'll start going through it line by line, and then as a board we can agree. So we're not bouncing all around and getting Peggy's opinion here, Peggy's opinion here, and then Bill's opinion over here. I think if we can go through it methodically, we're going to get through it more efficient and be efficient with Mr. Jones' time also. That's kind of what I was thinking. We'll go through line for line. And, <coughs> and then we'll add stuff where we feel it needs add to be added. Add people in what we want. Yeah. Come to and then we'll have to go over it. We'll have, he can just legalize, put the legal terms to it and take out what, not legal or whatever. It would be good to have it. Mm -hmm. A couple things real quick. Uh, <coughs> General Statute 153A-133 is what allows it counties to complete or write noise regulations and I think that's what it says in the ordinance that Right. And what is that definition so the county may by ordinance regulate, restrict, or prohibit the production or emission of noises or amplified speech, music or other sound that tend to annoy, disturb, or frighten. It. So that's that's our authority to sort of look at. I want to mention that. The other thing that I found interesting, I found a noise ordinance where it was at, but you know, the sheriff would talk about if you have complaints to not file them anonymously, you know, make some, you know, some. And one thing I thought was interesting, there was one that required that a complaint form must either one be signed by at least two other neighbors, which would be three people total, or be signed if one person, if it's signed by one person, it must have an accompanying audio or video tape with a date and time of the alleged violation. There's all sorts of options. Think about it. We'll have to get him back into it. Yeah, we'll need some guidance from Mr. Jones about penalties, you know, fines, misdemeanor penalties, you know, what, what are the consequences. I don't have a clue where you start with that stuff. You find something with $100, $500. Well, what's legal to find them? I don't really know. Yeah. I, I bet you can't show up with $500. We'll find out. And maybe think about an intent or an objective that we can add to this, because this current, this Clay County one doesn't have, it starts off with authority. And maybe as, as a board, we can lay out why we're doing this to, to give it an understanding for future boards and, and people that are looking for, for tools. We've got the high impact board by default we authorize certain types of business, you know, they're not play out of love for the other and things like that, so we can't you know, that's not what we're here to talk about. Right. So we you know some of the things we just need to think about that in the context of what we think is to say. So do we need to to discuss this? How you have to basically allow businesses and the buffer requirements 
Uh, those two. For commercial operations. Like sawmills, asphalt plants, helicopters, airports. I guess just have a copy of that. Yeah, I can make it available. I don't think we need a copy of it. If anybody's interested in reading the course, it's on the website or I can send it to you if you want. Send me an email, I'll, I'll send it to you. What's the website? MakingNC.org. Go to, it's on the left hand side. Just email me, Peggy, I'll send it to you. I've got someone that just has your phone number on it. Yeah, you see how it's been about all the time. All right, go ahead and get through announcements. The uh, first announcement I've got is um, we have some expiring terms in 2015, or some terms are going to be up for potential, I guess, replacements. Some, uh, Chris is going to be up, um, hopefully. Everybody's going to reapply. Um, Susan's is up. Peggy's, yours will be up. Mark West, yours will be up. And then Town of Highlands is also going to be up. And if you don't mind me speaking about it, uh, John has asked that while he appreciated the time on the board, he's asking for them to find him a replacement just because of. When is he up? His will be January. I talked to Josh and <coughs> up in Highland, he's talking to their town manager and mayor about extending his maybe a couple months until they can do the yeah. holidays. It'd be nice, John, if you could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's okay with the commission just to stay on for this conversation. Yeah, that's fine. And, and I, and until they find somebody else, then. The other ones that's coming up, are they all eligible to be reappointed under the new guidelines? As far as I know, everybody's eligible. There was a question on whether Susan would not be eligible or not. Derek's checking in. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's just And that's that's something that Derek and I are researching right now. That was the only one that's in question about eligibility. Also, um, January meeting, no, that's the annual meeting for the election of vice chairman and chairman. That's uh, every year. And then Mr. Shields, uh, I talked with Derek and Jimmy some, and Derek's mentioned an interest in having a February meeting, a joint meeting with us and the commission. If we could get together, maybe schedule something for that sometime. Did we pick you back up the same tip here? Typically, we usually meet somewhere like the Making Bank Corporate Center and we'll have dinner and have a meeting and something like that. Is it with more than three commissioners, more than two commissioners? It's the total board. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's usually just an annual meeting to determine what the, some of our future goals might be. But I'll get with you when you get there. And that's all the announcements I've got. Did I hear you say, though, that uh, four people, go all people, and try to have this ordinance, those orders? Yeah, John's going to. Because you're. We don't want to intermingle. Like me, just right. Luckily, most of ours are up for eligibility to be returned. John's the only one that's asked. To move on. He's in January, but he did agree that he would stay until we get to the regard. So John will be in a hurry. Say what you guys want to try to do another meeting between the next regular January meeting? So we'll have a chance to look at this homework. Or hopefully, it would be today. Just make it at Christmas or New Year's Eve. Next Thursday. I'll be here through probably Christmas or New Year's, and I may be gone two or three months. Okay, so you won't be the regular January meeting? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. The meeting will be the third Thursday. It will be the sixth. 
15th is our January 15th. Is our I can't make it. I can't make it. Sounds like we can't John said he can't make it. Peggy's not going to make it. Sounds like Jimmy's. But I'll come at him. I'll come on another day if I'm available. I don't plan to. I just I've got something on that day. Want to try something the week of the fifth? <coughs> so y'all got the following week, fifteenth, sixteenth, I believe. Working on fifteenth, sixteenth. Play some golf. Go to sixteenth, I think it's that weekend. Out of town on the eighth. What's everyone's available? I mean, John, are you going all that week? I am. Leave it on Tuesday. You're leaving on the sixth. Yes. Okay. Peggy, what are you leaving? I'm. I don't have a set date. I'm hoping to leave. Either right after Christmas or according to the weather. Okay. But I can leave my opinions. What about the 13th for Tuesday? <coughs> I can do that. That's okay. a commissioner meeting. Okay. Commissioner meeting. Okay. Sorry. What time is it? Six. I don't have time to do that. These are important. <laughs> Questions or any clarity, give me a call or send me an email. I'll be glad to teach you whatever you need. So, if we can get Mr. Jones, 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 <laughs> <Too late. laughs> oh, wow. but, now, I, I, I use a uh, send out an email and just copy the air call. So, so send it directly to Jesse. You copied me, don't have yeah, email, so I'll have his uh, okay. uh, Jones's uh, email and stuff on there. Yep. And everyone has a consensus to keep Mr. Jones involved. Is that true? The guy has a Yeah, it'd be nice to have <coughs>